Hey guys. Hi guys. So we're over here at Universal Orlando. We're in the parking garage. We just parked. Um, Caden's asleep at the current moment. He's knocked out. Um, so we probably have about like an hour before he wakes up. Yeah. But we're going to go explore City Walk, see what's over there. Probably grab a bite to eat. We haven't decided if we're going to jump into a park or not. Maybe, yeah. But um, definitely go grab some food for the family. Um, go take a look at some of the shops. Maybe Voodoo Donuts. Ooh, Voodoo Donuts, yes. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, so we're super excited. Um, we haven't been exploring City Walk in forever, yeah. so... It's going to be nice to see what's out here and what changes they've made. Mm -hmm. uh, so looking forward to it. Yeah, I know the past few times we've been here, we've been to either um, Universal Studios and then we jumped over to Island. So yeah, today's just like one of those low-key kind of uh, evenings where we're just checking out City Walk. Mm -hmm. But fingers crossed to hop it into a park. Wouldn't Definitely. mind that either. Yeah, we want to ride some kind of ride tonight with him. But we'll see. The first place we're going to jump into is going to be the Universal store. Just see what they have over here. This actually used to be Quiet Flight. They've changed this part into uh, the Universal store. So this is pretty cool. <laughs> People used to do this all the time. They would just cut across. They would use the store when it was Quiet Flight and just cut right through. So that's one of the things that you can no longer do uh, when you come to City Walk. More cutting through. So it was fun while it lasted. So, do you have a lot of the Jurassic World stuff here? One thing I found that I really like is this sweater. A cool little Jurassic World on the back, or a Velocicoaster on the Still back. Still haven't ruined it yet. And then um, on top of that, it's only $57. It's really lightweight, so I don't feel like it'd be that bad. Yeah. So, some of that I'd definitely be interested in, closer to like November, or October, November area. Yeah. Whenever it starts to cool down a little bit. And so they have a t-shirt wall in here. It looks like the t-shirts are two for forty dollars. Let's take a look at what they have here. Let yourself whoa. I'm not sure I get the reference on that one. It's a Jurassic Park themed t-shirt. No collar, doesn't answer anything. Definitely not house train. He's very bitey. Hmm, should I get that for Caden? <laughs> a terrible idea. Okay, that's funny. Haha. <laughs> Wizardy mom. Wizarding and dad. And of course, vacay mode. Very cute. And again, these shirts are two for forty dollars. This is a barista Deadpool. This <laughs> That's thing is freaking awesome looking. I like that beard and mustache. I am Fonsa. So we just came across uh, this really cute Jurassic Park logo bag, and it's only thirty-two dollars. I think we were we are thinking about picking it up because we're using uh, just a drawstring yeah. bag right now for our for Caden stuff and for our stuff. Uh, but this one is pretty reasonably priced and right behind Tony we were looking at this bag too but it's fifty dollars and we do get the discount uh, for having an annual pass but for the price and the size uh, kind of you know kind of pricey compared to the thirty two dollar bag that's over here so I think we're gonna pick this up are we picking it up mine oh I need this in my life right now uh -huh. this thing is awesome need huh one thing that you guys are gonna learn about me is I really like spider-man things I literally have probably like 80 or 90 pops of just Spider-Man, so I'm a little obsessed. <laughs> By little he means like this. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. We also saw this cool shirt. Uh, the it's Universe Studios Marvel characters and the kind of the colors of them all blend down and kind of like a paint um, design, so that's pretty cool. This shirt here is $28. Pretty cool though. This is our first time in the store, and I'm actually getting uh, the first. We're actually getting the chance to admire how it looks on the inside. So I'm uh, just looking at it. It's pretty cool. How the layout is very retro looking. They're playing some uh, throwback music. Pretty nice. And they actually have wands for sale over here. So these are really cool. Professor Snake's wand. A swirl here. Let's see what we got. Cho Chang. Nice, nice. Pretty oh, cool. Mad Eye Moody. Mad Eye Moody. 
this. This is a nice, nice girth they want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I swear. And more wands over here. So something cool that we found out about the wands, the white sticker boxes here are 55. They're non-interactive, but if you go over a little bit, you'll see that some of them are silver, and these silver ones are interactive. Now, if you have a little one that you don't want to buy an official wand for, they do have the kitty wands for $28.95, and so that's pretty cool that they have all those options available for you. So something I saw here was this bag. I really like this bag here. Um, it is $65. I thought it was a lounge fly because of the gold plate on the top of the bag, but uh, I don't think it is actually. But it's cute though. Another thing I saw here is I really like this little stein. We're on the way to check out, but just saw these cute candy bars, these themed candy bars, three for ten dollars. Look at this. Got, um, oh gosh, I'm blanking on her name. The girl from Despicable Me, and then we got Betty Boop, Back to the Future. Down here, Spider Man. Spider-Man. And then of course Shrek and Donkey. Shrek and Donkey with their waffle and swamp bars. So yeah, really cute theme candy here. Skadoosh. Skadoosh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're out of the uh, Universal store and now we're literally just walking around. Like, what should we do next? Well, we do have Voodoo Donuts right to the right of us. Yeah, Voodoo Donuts is right here. But uh -oh. we haven't eaten dinner yet, so I don't know if I want to spoil appetite now we could get voodoo donuts on the way home on the way out or or hear me out we could just you know sugar high it the entire time and skip dinner but you know oh okay skip the dinner <laughs> well i'm actually hungry but um voodoo donuts does sound like a good idea yes it does. all right well we're gonna keep walking around and let uh, let universal tell us where we should go next how's that Sounds universal good. magic magic yeah Holy crap. so there's actually a, a very long line that goes all the way to the back uh, to actually get in Voodoo Donuts, so maybe uh, maybe we'll skip out on Voodoo Donuts today. <laughs> we shall see. We will see. For the anime fans, they have uh, My Hero and Demon Slayer shirts. Uh, My Hero, and then you got the Demon Slayer shirt over here. I actually really like the drawing. They got a Bakugo shirt. I'm gonna kill you. And another All My shirt. So that's pretty cool. And let's see, these shirts are $28. And then there's Dragon Ball Z uh, merchandise over here. One thing I want to say about this is, this is exactly how Dee likes her shirts. Very nondescript, like, or nondescript, where it's like, you see the emblem and you know it if you know it, and if you don't, you don't. <laughs> All right, so what Tony means is, I don't like when shirts say the name of the show. Like, I like references, so if there's like something that is said all the time in the show, I like that on the shirt, not the actual title of the show itself. Does that make sense? decided to come over here and grab some drinks. I got the Riverfront Bramble. And what'd you get? Uh, the Desert Mule. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try mine. Oh, that's good. Mine's delicious. It has some ginger beer in it. I don't remember all the ingredients, but I remember one was bourbon, gin, and then ginger beer. Um, not too strong. It's a nice cool drink for the nice cool evening. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> And mine is very refreshing as well, um, so it's very fresh forward, so I like it a lot. Alright, so we've enjoyed our drinks, which was very nice to just sit back and relax and have some quality time. Yeah. Kaden's starting to wake up, and um, I think we're ready to eat some dinner now. Yeah, we decided on eating over at Big Fire Grill. Right behind us. Um, there is a line at the um, check-in desk, so we're going to check that out and see what that's about, but um, hopefully we get to eat in there, because it's fairly new. Yes. I think it opened in 2019, so super excited. This is the first time that we've seen it. Yeah, we know. Um, we're going to be uh, letting you know how it is. Womp, womp, womp.
So, we saw that there was a line, but we didn't expect it to be that much of a wait. So, the next reservation for this restaurant is 10 p.m. So, they said that we could go over to another restaurant and 7.30, but we decided... What was it called? The Coconut Club? Yeah, the Coconut Club. They're the only ones that have reservations this early. So we decided that we're going to jump into a park now and... Uh, have some dinner. Have some dinner somewhere over there. Um, I think we decided on Universal, so... Definitely. We'll be eating dinner there. Maybe hop on a ride then. And look who decided to join us. He's oh, being yeah. a little shy because he's all sleepy, but... Kaden's very affectionate. Say hi, Kaden. Hi. Hello, Kaden. You see yourself? Oh, there There's it is. Leon. Big ol' yawn. Like I said, he just woke up. So, we made it in. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. So, we decided to go over to Universal for our food hunt since our restaurant of choice was booked up for the next three hours. Yes, and <laughs> currently it's 7 36. Universal Studios closes at 9 tonight, so um, we'll have time to eat and hopefully uh, get on a ride. I overheard uh, a guest saying that there's fireworks tonight. So, maybe we'll stay for those, maybe we won't. We'll play it by ear. Yeah, for but, sure. But uh, definitely what we're not playing by ear is getting something to eat because... We're hungry. We're hungry, so the hunt begins. Yes. So we're coming in at five and dine here, and uh, we're checking out some of the Halloween Horror Nights 2021 preview merchandise. So there's this $28 shirt, which is just of your general Halloween Horror Nights logo here. Um, the year 2021, and then on the back it says I'm back, that's Jack. And then it's uh, just the, again the a logo from the front of the shirt. So, I told you guys earlier that I'm a huge Spider Man fan. Now, this I really want is $200, but the bay would kill me if I brought this home without, you know, first approving it with her. <laughs> Maybe not kill, but definitely judge. <laughs> Check this out. This is pretty cool too. This is in the same case. The whole your business down here is $90. And then down here. There's no price listed for this one. My thing um, is, why is the Hulk 90 while Venom is 200 I'm not the same size. Mm. I still want it. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Alright, so we decided to eat at Louis over here. And Universal, no line, no anything. So, let's scrub. Alright, so I lied. There is a little bit of a line, but it's not nearly as bad as some of the lines we walked past at different food spots. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bucky. Hi, Bucky. Alright, so Mr. Tony has delivered our pizza. And, uh, yeah, I'm already been into a slice of hungry. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna cut some up for Kaden and we're gonna chow down. Well, he's gonna chow down. He's already chow. Tony is doing this now. Yeah, so this. that line was a lot longer than we expected it to be. Yeah. The drinks were like 100% out, so I basically had just like slim pickings on drinks. So it took a while there too, because then the machines had ice. So, pro note, don't come at the end of shift because things are a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> How's the pizza? Pizza is pretty good actually. I'm surprised. Yeah, it's, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting it to be a lot lower quality because it's like a little quick stand. But it's good, right? Yeah, it's actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> so we've uh, just finished dinner and um, we don't really know what we're doing. We're just walking around Universal Studios now. We're thinking about getting off Fast and the Furious, but God, I really don't like that ride. <laughs> It probably will be fun for something, you know, it will probably be fun for Kaden, but... Yeah, I'm thinking that we should just drop on for Kaden, see how he reacts, because it'll be his personal, like, virtual thorough ride, so... How long was the wait? I think it was like a 20 minute wait. It will be, it will be fun for Kaden now. It's a 25 minute wait, so what I was going to do was, I was just going to go to, um, King's, um, Hogsmeade, and just hang out in there. Ooh, we should probably buy, um, Butterbeer, yeah, since we that's keep feeling at that so horribly. Oh yeah, <laughs> past few times we've tried to get some butter beer, but all the lines have been busy. But now since it's 8.32, park closes at 9, we can go try it. But I just had a couple slices of pizza, so uh, well, that's on you. I don't know how good I'm going to be at this I'm butter beer thing. <laughs> Tony, is this your first time being in um, Hogsmeade in, the, in uh, the evening time like this? Actually, yes. Uh, this is actually a first for me. 
So I've never actually seen it with all the lights on and everything, so this is actually pretty cool. After a quick um, run through, we decided to pass on the Butterbeer. It's not that busy in there. I think we just decided that we're a little bit too full from the pizza. And, yeah, uh, our, our stomachs have decided on us. Yeah, <laughs> just uh, hang out until the fireworks show starts. For sure. As you can see, we're back home, and uh, that was really fun. That was fun. Yeah, I had a lot more fun today than I was expecting to have. I was yeah. expecting to be uh, pretty busy today. Uh, the crowd levels were decent, actually, surprisingly. We didn't get to eat at the restaurant we wanted to, but it was still a lot of fun. I think it was a big fire. Yeah, because it's one of the new uh, restaurants there, so we thought that, you know, it might be like an hour wait. We're willing yeah. to wait for something like that, but we weren't expecting three hour waits. But it ended up being a lot of fun and um, we all had a good time. And also, on a side note, we got the bog. Yep. And I really like it a lot. We uh, did a transfer there at the park of all the, the camera equipment into it. Fits perfectly like yeah. we thought it would. Um, so I'm very happy with this purchase. And it was actually pretty cheap. Um, we saved about almost five dollars having our annual passes. Mm -hmm. So you know, instead of being like thirty-five, it was like just under thirty. So it was a pretty good deal. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Kid needs to grow like four inches so he can start getting on big kid rides. <laughs> this boy, this boy, uh, this man wanted Caden to get on ET. Not right? ET. It might be. I'm sorry. The Men in Black ride. Like, Caden is too short to get on the Men in Black ride. Yeah, he's like 36, 37 inches. He needs to be 40. Like, he's too short. I'm it. like, he can't get on that ride. He's going to fall out or something. Nah, he'll be out. And then we, <laughs> and then we tried to get, we, we checked the, um, the Simpsons ride, and it was the same thing. So. 40 inches, yeah. So he needs to go like four more inches, and then we can start taking him on some of the bigger kid rides. Yeah. Yeah. He will, eventually. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hopefully. <laughs> like, subscribe, leave us a comment. Let us know if you like it, what we can improve on. Uh, we are constantly looking for suggestions. Like, we're still new to this, so mm -hmm. um, if there's anything you guys think we should do or anything you think we should improve on, let us know. Don't be mean, though, because I'm sensitive. Also, uh, we are going to start doing some food vlogging, so... Any suggestions for some hole in the wall, really good foods? Yeah. Um, we would greatly appreciate that because we are going to start exploring uh, different places. Thanks for watching. We appreciate the support. So, <laughs> Kaden, say bye bye. Kaden. Yeah. There's the back of Kaden's head. He's preoccupied right now, but um, yeah. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys. Bye.